You'll never get my balls. Wait, what? Hey guys, what is up? EBN Gaming back today with another episode of Trolling in Clash of Clans. You guys seemed to really like this last time I did it, so we're doing it again, guys. Today we are doing some elixir trolling. I currently have a hole in the middle of my base with all my traps surrounding it. This costs like $116,000 to rearm, so hopefully they don't set off all of them. But uh, yeah, we have full elixir. We are basically completely done with all our elixir upgrades because we are almost in max tunnel late now. And uh, I'm just putting my putting my balls in the center and letting them come at them, basically. So, uh, yeah, we are going to uh, log out, get some attacks going. I will show you the replays of how this troll base does. All right, guys, our first attack, we have that person from that clan, probably Russia. Shout out to Russia. Hey, guys. <laughs> but they are attacking our base. Uh, they only have level 3 troops and level 1 healers, so this should be interesting. I am not sure what level they are, but they are in gold 3, which is pretty high for they look like a town hall 6. So let's see what they do. So they're going to start off. He's going to drop one archer, and the archer's going to set off every single trap I have. And he's going to be like, oh man, what am I going to do now? And this is what he does. He is going to drop all of his giants. Giant bomb goes off. Wizards come out of the clan castle. Two heal spells go down. Two heal spells. And the giants die instantly, wasting those heal spells. Now archers come down. They're going to get eradicated by that giant bomb. I can't even see what's happening in the center now. Another heal spell goes down with no troops on the field. He's got 55 archers left. He's dropping them. He's going for the clan castle. Oh, but he's not going to get him. He's just dropping a few at a time. Here goes more. Here goes. He's dropping like 31 in now. Drops all archers. He has seven archers left. He's going to drop his final archers right there, and they're going to instantly get killed. We have four mortars landing right there at the same time. That's a pretty amazing sight. So he's going to end. Absolutely no loot at all. 2% damage. I lost one clan castle archer, and I gained 24 trophies. Alright guys, we have now again another player that I can't pronounce, but that player from that clan coming at our coming at our big balls. Oh, this is this sucks so bad. Alright, let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. They're gonna drop their king. Level 8 king. Put him into rage immediately. He's gonna target the elixir, but immediately gets dragged, and he's gone in less than five seconds. Level 6 giants. This guy's at town hall 9. They're going in. They're gonna target the Teslas, but my king is going to destroy them, and all his giants are now dead. Goblins going in, but they're gonna get taken out by the clan castle. He gets one elixir storage. But the others are left completely untouched. And this battle's over very quickly. Lots of troops in the center. Got my king almost at full health. Now he's dropping barbarians and archers. I can't even see what's going on, but looks like they all pretty much died. And he's going to stare at the screen for a second and be like, what have I just done with my army? He's going to drop two archers. They're going to get blown up somehow. And he's done 5% damage. He steals a little bit of elixir. Not too much. I don't even need it anyway. And I get 24 trophies. All right, now we finally have a name I can pronounce. We've got Werewolf from Apotheosis coming in on us he has a barge composition for town hall nine and the same level barb king's mind so i guess we're like secretly brothers or something but let's see how he does against our base he's gonna start the attack by dropping in one barbarian who sets off like two giant bombs and all our skeleton traps pretty insane right there that's gonna cost me a lot of gold for taking out one barbarian but uh yeah everything in the center just gets completely eradicated we've got four mortars you can see all the mortars will hit at once pretty awesome sight to behold Let's see, he's going to set the screen, he, what, uh, he's just going to scare, stare at the screen, be like, what am I doing right now? He's going to lure out the skeletons, and the the one clan castle archer I had, that archer made the difference, man, that archer made the difference. This minion's going to fly and get taken out by air fence, and right now he's going to lure the skeletons out to the army camp and destroy them. Smart tech I've seen so far, destroying the skeletons and clan castle troops first, but let's see how he goes after this. He could have just dropped one minion, and he could have taken out all those, but hey. He wants to roll different way, that's fine with me. So now all his barbarians going down in the center. His king going down in the center, rapidly losing health. Air bombs blow up the one minute he dropped. His king is already down. My king beats him in a one-on-one -on -one fight, but then goes down to the other barbarians. They are now targeting some elixir storages, but they are going to be quickly destroyed by all those mortars landing in the center. Now we've got minions coming in. We've got air defenses and teslas on them. They're going to get a little bit, not too much though. All his archers going in, getting one-shotted by wizard towers, getting one-shotted by mortars. And he's going to end with 4% damage. I gain 19 trophies and lose a little bit of elixir and 36 gold. Now, I actually need gold, so that 36 is kind of a painful loss, but I think I'll be able to manage it for 19 trophies. All right, guys, so that's my trolling base. Worked pretty well, in my opinion. Got a lot of wins. Got about 70 trophies off that in just a few hours, because I do have one guy drop a barbarian and surrender. So, 
hey, that works for me. Got 29 trophies off that. But guys, pretty successful base here. I like it a lot. But right now, I'm going to move all my traps out of center because I'm tired of spending like 45,000 gold on blowing up one barbarian. So uh, yeah, guys, this has been another episode of Trolling in Clash of Clans with Evian Gaming. If you did enjoy, please drop a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Stay tuned, guys. And I will see you guys next time. Evian Gaming out. Peace.